Good morning, dear children. Welcome to today's class. As I have asked you for the response or your name, class, section, admission number, WhatsApp phone number, and any other contact number and any other contact number and so on. Many of the students has given, but rather than many more are left out still. So please, dear children, give response. so that we can understand how many are attending these online classes so that you can take benefit of that moreover you might be knowing from your friends and all that you are going to give your pre midterm exam which is very very important for your final promotion to the next class don't think that it is uh, just lockdown is going on you are sitting at home and online classes are going so uh, definitely you will be going to the next class just be attentive towards that so that you can be nicely promoted to the next class attending more and more marks so for that you have to give your pre midterm exam most probably from 17th of august it is going to start little bit dates can be here and there so might be any other subjects you might have got the syllabus and all here i am going to give the syllabus for this pre midterm exam of mathematics Here I am going to give three of the chapters, knowing our numbers, chapter one, chapter two, whole numbers, chapter three, playing with numbers. For all these three chapters, I have just now given the division in the previous classes. Before I have started this chapter six, I have given the division of these three chapters. Now the questions will be topic based. Means whatever topics you have studied in that, based on that topics, questions will be asked, and those questions will be multiple choice questions. because here we are not going to check papers paper pen test you are not going to give online test you are going to give so you cannot just go on writing go on solving so it will be objective based so mcqs will be asked multiple choice questions it can be fill in the blanks also it can be true false also something like that objective based questions will be there and it is very very compulsory to attempt that exam pre midterm exam as i have already told you now uh, the sample sample of this after completing this chapter 6 uh, chapter 6 if we are not going to complete fully let us complete this uh, first exercise 6.2 what we are going let us complete this exercise after that i am going to give the sample paper of this how we are going to get for this exam so this details i have told you as i have explained you in the previous class that all the rules of doing plus minus that is plus plus total plus you are getting then plus minus 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 plus minus and minus minus plus means similar sign plus and different sign minus now this is for what if you are getting question like this to open the bracket we are using this rules first thing to open the bracket we are using this rules second thing we are also using this rules for the calculation for the calculation means here is one plus here is one minus means total minus we have to do so for doing calculations also we are using this rules but for putting the sign in front of the number we have to always see the greater number now you will be very clear with this when we go through all these questions this is exercise 6.2 question number 3 you have to solve add without using number line now using number line that i have explained earlier and in pdf also we are having that through pdf you can just see understand also if you have any doubt later you can ask it is not uh, so much means like to come in exam and uh, moreover for the further classes also this kind of questions will be very important and this is very necessary to understand it is the simple and very starting point which you have to understand more greater more larger equations questions you will be getting in the next classes further here also you are having so let us see what is this Here you have to solve. Add is asked. 11 plus in bracket minus 7. Now plus and minus. If you open this bracket, we are having 
plus and minus together. So any one sign only you can write in between. So what will, which one sign will come? Plus, minus. Plus, minus. You are getting minus. This different sign, minus. So minus we are writing here. Now 11 minus 7. Now it is just a simple question. What which a class 1 student also can solve? 11 minus 7, 4. So 4 you got here. Now which sign to put? Here is plus, here is minus. Which sign to put? You will say year 1 plus, year 1 minus different sign. So minus will come. No, for putting sign in front of the number in answer, you will always see the greater number. Greater number 11 and 7. Which is greater? 11 is greater. So in front of 11 plus sign. So that plus will come in the answer. Means simple 4. Or 11 minus 4 directly it is written. Don't just think of that plus minus. 11 minus 7, 4, 4 is the answer. So here you don't have to think that plus and minus. Similarly this B part. Minus 13 plus plus of 18. Now this plus and plus coming together. Plus and plus. Similar sign. So plus will come. Plus and plus. Plus will come. So here plus and plus. Plus came. So minus 13 and plus 18. Now plus 18 and minus 13. You can change the order. Commutative law. You have studied in uh, numbers. Playing with numbers. Something. Chapter you have studied. Commutative law. Means you can change the places of the numbers. Whole numbers. So you can write this 18 here and minus 13 there. So 18 minus 13. Now this is a simple question which class 1 students also can solve. 11 minus 13, 5, 5 is the answer. Or else if you want to see or if you have any confusion that here is plus, here is minus. So plus minus minus so that minus will come in answer. No. Plus minus minus is for the calculation. Here also I said it is for opening the bracket or else to decide the calculation. To open the bracket, here we are opening the bracket. For opening the bracket, we have to use these laws, rules or else to decide the calculation. Which operation you have to do? Either plus or minus. For deciding that operation or calculation, you are going to see these rules. Not for putting the, uh, this sign in front of the answer. For putting the sign in front of the answer, you always have to see the greater number. Here 18 is greater, having positive sign. So positive 5 means plus 5 means only 5. Plus sign, generally we are not writing. So only 5 is the answer here. Now coming to the C part, minus 10 plus plus 19. So plus 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 only 19. It is just like this question only. 19, change the order, 19 minus 10, 9, positive 9, clear. It is just similar like B part only. Now, coming to this question. Because these were simple, so I have already solved and shown. Now, these are little different, so I have left, left it empty because I have to explain. Now, see what you have to do here. It is minus 250 plus plus of 150. Now, minus 250, you are opening the bracket. It will be like this only because no other number is in front. It will be like this only. Now, plus and plus 150. Plus and plus, when two plus are coming together, plus only will come. Similar sign, plus. Plus 150k. Now, here which operation you have to do? Either plus means addition or subtraction. What operation will you do here? For checking the operation, you have to go through these rules. That is, here is 1 minus, here is 1 plus. So, plus minus, minus means subtraction you have to do. Means, 250 minus 150. Total, 100. So, 100 will come here. Okay? 100 will come there. And, now, for putting the sign in front of the answer, you have to see which number is greater. 250 is greater or 150 is greater? 250 is greater, 250 is having minus sign, so this minus will come in front of the answer. Means minus 100 is the answer. Repeating again, minus 250, copy it down the same thing, plus and plus, plus will come, so plus 150, little the same. Now, for checking the operation, means either, either to do the addition or to do the subtraction, you have to go through these rules. 
1 is minus 1 is plus different sign means minus means subtraction means subtraction we are going to do the subtraction we have done answer we got 100 okay 100 we have written now for putting sign in front of that answer you have to see which number is greater greater is 250 having minus sign so that minus will come in front of the answer so this is your answer is this clear now coming to the e part here minus 380 plus minus different sign got minus here according to that rule different sign minus so minus 270 now here is minus here is minus similar sign so which operation to do here minus minus similar sign plus means addition you have to do here so addition 380 plus 270 how much 7, 7, 49, 1, 15, 5, 1, 3 and 3, 6. 650 you got? 650 I got the addition of this. Okay. Now which sign to write here? Which? Again repeating here. Minus 380. Copy down the same thing. Plus, minus. Different sign. So according to that, different sign. This minus will come. So minus written here. And 270. Now, for checking the calculation, which calculation or which operation you have to do here, plus or minus, means addition or subtraction, minus, minus, same sign, same sign, plus, means addition, so addition you are going to do here, means 380 and 270, how much you got, 714 and 150 and 6, 650 you got here, 650, and now to put sign in front of this answer. Which sign to put? Greater number of that. Which is the greater number? 380 is the greater number. Having minus sign in front. So that minus will come in the answer. So this is your answer. Is this clear now? Now coming to the next part. It is the same way. Minus 270. Copy down the same. Now plus and minus. According to that different sign minus. So minus I have written here and 100. Minus, minus 270 and minus 100. Just like this. Minus minus according to that rule plus. Plus means addition you have to go do here. 270 and 100 means 317. 317 you got here. Now, which is the greater number out of this 270, 900, this 270 having minus sign. So, this minus will come in the answer. So, this is your answer. Understood now? Coming to the next question. Here, in sum, find the sum of the following question is asked. Means, addition you have to do. Means, Somewhere two numbers are given, somewhere three numbers are given. And some are positives also, some are negatives also that you have to see. And where it is written and you have to write the plus sign. As in the question it is given 137 and minus 354. So in place of this and I have written here plus sign. Rest in uh, negative sign you will use bracket. Now two signs are coming together. So for opening you will follow the same rules which I have told you. In the previous question, so plus minus, different sign, minus will come. Now, up to here, everyone can understand. After this, here is positive, here is negative, different sign means minus. That is for calculation, means operation is minus, means subtraction. So that subtraction I have done here, 217 you got as the answer. Now 217, I have written, okay. Now which sign will come in front of that? Out of these, which number is greater? 354 is greater having minus sign in front. So minus will come in the answer. Same for the next minus 52 and plus 52 minus and plus. Minus plus minus means subtraction. Subtraction we do. 0 we got. 0 we got. 0 I have written here. 0 do not have any plus or minus. If you find out also greater number 52 and 52 are similar. If you put this sign also minus, if you put this sign also plus. Otherwise, 0 do not have any plus or minus sign. So, 0 is the answer here. 
Coming to the C part here, three of the whole parts, three of the numbers are given. So minus three hundred and twelve in place of comma you will write here plus in place of and you will write here plus because quotient is given. Find the sum of or addition. So you will write down there plus and plus. Then where you can solve easily, which number you can solve easily because three are there. So any two you solve first and third one in the next step. Any two you solve first. So this plus and plus easily we can solve. Plus and plus is plus only. So these two we can solve easily. So thirty nine and one hundred ninety two plus and plus plus only. So this I have done here. Two thirty one I got that is plus only. So two thirty one I have written here in place of these two numbers. That is clear. So and this is minus. Now minus and plus different sign. Minus subtraction is there. So subtraction. There I have done subtraction. Eighty one I got. So that eighty one I have written. Now which number is greater? The hundred and twelve is greater, having minus sign. So that minus will come in the answer. Minus eighty one I got as the answer. Now here also three numbers are given. In place of comma here I will write down one plus. Now this is minus two hundred. So I have to use one bracket there because it is negative number. Then in place of and I have to write one plus because question is asked addition. Then here also you can write, make use of bracket. Because it is the beginning, you can write simple also, or else if you want, because of negative sign, you can use bracket also. Here it is coming two signs, so definitely you have to use bracket. Definitely you have to use the bracket. Without that, it is not possible to solve. So we are using the bracket here. Now plus and minus, different sign. Minus came here. Now three numbers are there. Which two numbers we can solve easily? That you solve. Otherwise, first two or the last two or the middle two, any way you can go. But step by step only you have to go through first two, then that answer and the first one in that way. Now here minus and minus. These two minus and minus same sign. This addition we are doing fifty and two hundred easily we are doing two hundred and fifty to fifty. So two hundred and fifty to fifty and greater number sign. Sign minus minus came here and plus three hundred. It is three hundred. Sorry, three hundred. Now so here you will make one three hundred. So here also it will come three hundred. So it will be five fifty. I thought it is thirty. So. This is plus three hundred, plus three hundred. So here it is plus three hundred. Up to here it is correct. Let us solve it again and see whether this answer is coming or not. This is correct. Let us solve it again. Now plus two fifty and my plus three hundred. Minus two fifty and plus three hundred. Minus plus different sign. Minus we have to do. So do it minus. Greater number three hundred minus two fifty. How much it is? Fifty only. So okay, fifty will be the answer. Now sign which sign will come? Which sign will come? Three hundred is greater. So it is having plus sign. So plus means no need to put any sign. Fifty is the answer. That is correct. But sign will not come. So the this much is correct. So we have solved this question number four fully completed. Next is question number five. Here is find the sum. Find the sum means just uh, like question number four only. Here more simple, more easy numbers. Smaller numbers are given, and same similar like that. Bracket only are given, and similarly you have to open the bracket. Similarly you have to solve. So I think this you can solve by your own. So this question number five will be homework for you. So in this way we are completing exercise six point two. Now we are pausing this chapter here. 6.3. Later on we will do because the subtraction is there and it is simple like this only. Later we will continue with this chapter 6.3. But we are pausing this chapter here only because later, means in the next class, we are going to start the revision for this pre midterm exam for MCQs, fill up, see in what way it is going to come in the exam, in what way you are going to give the answers and all. So. Keep your copy complete up to this exercise 6.2 and start practicing and learning all the other subjects also. 
practicing of maths also for the pre midterm exam so completed this two days class thank you for today